ニンテンドー」。Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, a game that I played a lot growing up, but with, well, time, it seems to have become one of the more obscure Mario RPGs out there. If you've never played, this is a very different experience in terms of structure from the rest of the Mario and Luigi series, and as you would expect, that means it's somewhat of a divisive game. Based on my experiences, I've met some people that really love it, others that really don't, and others who think it's just kind of in the middle. Personally, I think it's a good game, and though I wouldn't call it my favorite by any stretch, I do have a lot to say about it, like the fact that this title screen is absolutely adorable, and that's one thing they definitely got right. And、uh, the fact that this game might be a sequel to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, that's not at all necessary playing, and the plot of that game doesn't really have any bearing on this one, so just wanted to get that in there first, but I don't mean to get too far ahead of the game here. There will be plenty of time to take things as it comes, so here we go Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. Really, really long ago. Way far out in space, in a dark, dank place shunned by starlight, there was this creepy planet floating alone. The beings of this world were creepy. They spent their time staring creepily into space. Just creepy daydreamers, right? Wrong. They were searching, searching for a new home. At last, they fix their creepy gazes on a distant world, a land of beauty and peace. <laughs> oh ho! It's emotional whiplash! No, it's just Toadsworth saying that he's anxiously been awaiting our arrival! Yes, indeed. The princess craves playmates, I'm afraid. She's rather tantrum y. Press up on the D pad to walk to the room where she awaits. Please go to her at once.、Uh, I didn't press the button to talk to you. It, wait, is it just walking? Wow, thanks, game, for having no faith in me to figure out how to talk to people, so you have to do this until you teach me how to do it manually.、Uh, well, we have no choice but to obey the linearity of that direction because. These fades to black indicate that we can't go to the sides. And while you might have your head cannons that maybe these rooms haven't been built yet because we're in the Mushroom Kingdom's past, it begs the question of how we arrived in this place in the first place. So that kind of debunks that. But regardless, we shall go up and we shall have the princess's tantrums dumped on us instead. Until tragedy strikes. Wow,、uh, when he said tantrum, he wasn't kidding. Why say, what is this hullabaloo? What of the princess? <laughs> Buddy, I like hullabaloo as much as the next guy. It's a great word. Maybe not as good as Shazamity Lamb, but. <laughs> Man, you really are emotional whiplash in living form. I, Prince Bowser, am taking Princess Peach with me! You two babies can scram! Absolute nonsense! I rather think that you'll do no such thing! On guard! <laughs> I love his face. Your turn, Super Diaper Bro. That's Super Diaper Baby to you. Got our first taste of combat against who else but the young master, Baby Bowser. Baby Mario uses his commands with the X button, and as is tradition, if you press the button just before landing on your enemy with a jump, you will do some extra damage. Wow. And conversely, you can dodge your enemy's attacks by jumping at the right time. And you're totally crawling over here to tell me everything that I just said and already knew, but. I can't imagine that、uh, waking up from your fainting because you were on fire was too easy of a task. It'd be kind of jerkish if I turned you away after that. Gotta be nice to those tutorial NPCs, as it is their only chance to shine if you let them talk and everything. And besides, when you get right down to it, I am a glorified tutorial NPC. So, um, yeah, I will be kind to my brethren and let you feel important by explaining things that I already knew. So, here we go. Besides, this way you get a feel for the timing as well when it's slowed down. This is the time that you want to press X. Your timing is spot on, you'll do more damage. For each and every attack, there is an action command. Experiment away. Carry on. Yes, every enemy is different, has their own timing, different things to learn. I really thought that you were going to slow down time there and explain that to me as well, but I guess it's too late now. 
Drat, I almost forgot. Yeah, a few seconds too late there. A baby has already been caught on fire. <laughs> Good thing you remembered indeed. <laughs> sure. I guess we'll see this as well. Right there. Halt. Press X, young sir. Observe. In this way, you can avoid taking damage. Pay attention to the spot above you. This spot of T, or I guess in this case, the spot of X, shows you how you are able to dodge your enemy attacks. Watch your foes closely for the hint at their attacks. Carry on. And as you can see, between Toadsworth's funny face when he got burned right there, Baby Bowser stomping and going, oh no, when he misses, and Luigi entertaining the princess with charades, by the way, the answer is constipation. Um, you can see just how expressive and well animated everything is. It's something that the Mario and Luigi series is known and renowned for, and it's easily one of the best parts of it. You're gonna see just so much personality in the characters, and it's just really fun to watch. I'm, I'm a prince. I can't lose to you. Blurg. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom Newsflash! Famed inventor Professor Egad has completed his time machine! The machine's energy source? This amazing cobalt star! The unveiling took place at Peach's castle and was seen by luminaries from near and far. Princess Peach was reportedly overjoyed by the contraption. So overjoyed, in fact, that she promptly set off on a voyage to the Mushroom Kingdom's past because what could possibly go wrong? Of course, her able ward Toadsworth is beside himself with worry. Details at 11! Man, by that hour they're gonna be covering his funeral, am I right? <laughs> PRINCESS! Please return, your majesty! I say, I am simply beside myself with worry. <laughs> no need to worry yourself, my machine's safe as can be. Why, there's a 99.999999% chance the princess will return. The horror! <laughs> Toadsworth falling over is becoming a running theme, isn't it? Toadsworth, wake up! Toadsworth! <laughs> Whoa, he worried himself so hard he KO'd himself! Mario, I'm pretty sure Toadsworth has a refresh room in his room! Think you can go and get it? Okay, I'll try not to overdo it with the toad voice. I just, I do like doing it a little bit, but I don't want to do it too much. Uh, one direct feed, cloud cam view of Peach's castle coming up. Hey, that x-ray cam works out very nice. It removes the roof and my torso. Um, creepy. Shows our current location. Shows us where our objective is. And not only that, but the icon We'll move from room to room with us, showing where we are in relative to the main area. It doesn't move around while you're inside of the same room, and it's not the best map in the world, but it is kind of nice for learning the layouts of places, so I wouldn't call it useless, and it's especially nice not having to pause to look at it all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, a little more. The refresh room is in a block in Toadsworth's room! You can't miss it! To remove it from the block, stand beneath it and jump up! That usually works! How's your jumping coming along, huh? Looking good from where I'm standing, Mario, but I'm only two feet tall, so I'd be impressed by any jump. Ah! <laughs> All right, so starting off, uh, let's talk to Luigi. <laughs> Gotta love the fictitious Italian babbling, the fictionese, if you will. Um, we can do a lot of exploring. I just want to grab a few items really quick, talk to a few toads. This castle has three floors. There are also rumors of a vast underground area, too. Thing is, no one seems to know how to get down there. Now that is credit design. <laughs> the castle's so big, I sometimes get lost. And then I cry a little. When that happens, I peek at the top screen to check on my location. <laughs> so we got a coin there uh, on the first block. That is your money, of course. Mushrooms will recover your health. Uh, speaking of recovering health, that is what heart blocks are for. Hit these whenever you see them. Doesn't cost a cent to do so. Are you going to tell me that? Oh, uh, no, you're actually going to tell us about save albums. 
Hit these to save your progress. Do this as often as possible, not only because it is good for preventing loss if your batteries were to run out, but you are incentivized by having a little summary of what you were in the middle of doing scrolling along the bottom of the screen. Very helpful if you haven't played in a while. And you get a fun little photograph of what you are doing. The first one might not look like much, but trust me, those photographs do get very charming over time, and I do want to show as many of them as possible. Grab ourselves another coin. The icons in the upper right corner of the screen show you what actions you can perform. The icon will change when you get close to signs, people, and suspicious areas, okay? When you see an icon change, try pressing the, pressing the corresponding button, yes. There I go, prophesizing Plessy as a character, but you never know, we've been in two time periods already, so maybe we'll go ten years in the future and Plessy becomes a character? I've got a feeling something terrible's gonna happen. I mean, look, this room's got that eerie gear over there. Something's gonna happen. Bless my spots. I guess you could call it a geary. Okay, I'll see myself out. But, but you can ex do a lot of exploring. Peach's Castle is somewhat of a hub world. It's got a lot of different rooms in it with lots of different items and coins for you to find. I'm not gonna be getting all of them as not very many of them are terribly helpful to us right now and we do wanna get the show on the road. We'll have time to get them later, but just know that there are more items you can get than you can. Or get more than you can, no, get more than I am. Get more items than you can right now. Yes, I recommend using walkthrough walls cheats. Uh, well, at least this time the portrait of the person the person admires is not in view of their bed when they're laying in it normally. Uh, but I just, I'm just gonna stop right there. Okay, I really shouldn't go any further. Got a bit of a courtyard here. Got a bit of a different pathway that we can use to go back. Very tempted to hit that save block again to see what the new flavor text is though, but I won't bore you with that detail. Let's just get back to Toadsworth. Toadsworth, any final words? Can I have your cane? <laughs> Britain says. Doctor, speak, man! Will Toadsworth recover? Oh, the prognosis is grim. I'm afraid our dear Toadsworth has worried himself into a state of shroom shock. Without the restorative properties of a refresh room, there's not we can do. Toadsworth! Huzzah! Now that is some enthusiasm I can get behind. Making the earth itself shake as you jump out of bed. I love it. Well, take a gander at that. The time machine's returned. Something's amiss, though. What could have gone wrong? Gee, I wonder. Oh, princess, welcome home. Your majesty, I've been fraught with... Dang, Peach looks awful in the morning. <laughs> okay, no, I am aware that that is what the phase disorder does to organic life. Wait, Master Luigi! And now our first combat as an adult bro. Mario loves flopping his nose with his finger. I can attest to having a big nose being very fun. So that is one of my favorite pastimes. And we are fighting a... Uh, well, okay, yeah, I actually didn't mean to hit the button quite that quickly. Master Mario! It's been some time since you battled last, correct? Uh, give or take about 26 years. I was like one at the time. Do you require a refresher on action commands? Uh, no, we just saw this, so from our point of view, it is a little bit useless, even though Mario definitely doesn't remember the last time Toesworth did this. We are fighting the Junior, Junior, Junior Shrewboid, or if you're playing a non-American version, the question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, which kind of makes more sense because we don't know what this creature is. Uh, right here. I was able to jump at just the perfect moment that would land me on top of the enemy's head on his turn into a counterattack. Very helpful. Lets you do things on your enemy's turn, creates some pretty action-packed battles, makes it so that you still have a lot to learn even after you know how to evade the attacks, right? Because physical attacks can be countered. Um, don't want to hear that though, but I guess I would like to see the timing a little bit slowed down as that is helpful. Right now! Please press A. Now. In this manner, you can utilize good timing to dodge your foe's attacks. And not only that, but damage them in the process. Be sure to observe your foes closely as to recognize your chances. Carry on. Not all attacks can be countered, but it is good to look for opportunities to do it so that you can get in a little bit of extra damage than what you would have been able to do normally. Wah! Let's get in another hit. And that's that. Collect our experience. And get our first level up. 
Upon level up, you will gain a few points in every stat other than stash. You will need to level that up with this bonus. You can just choose whichever stat you want. HP, of course, is your health. Pow is how much damage you will do when you attack. Defense determines how much damage you will take from attacks. Speed determines the turn order and how often your turn will come around. And stash is your critical hit rate. It has a few other uses as well, but we'll get into those later. For the time being though, Mario is more of an attack and speed oriented character, so I think I'm gonna go for Pow on my first level up. Uh, one, two, three. First of many botches on that roulette. I am going to apologize in advance if you're good at that roulette because I am not. This is like the one roulette in the series that I get wrong every time. I am horrible at it. No sign of the princess. No, no, no. That awful monster. Take her easy now. She wasn't this feller's breakfast. How do you know? His head's big enough to contain her whole body in it. My DS time radar puts Peach somewhere in the mushroom kingdom of yesteryear. Time radar! Time radar! You just made that up. Where'd the monster come from then? That, I don't know. And with the time machine this dinged up, we're not going anywhere. What's that? Calm down and speak slowly. A mysterious hole has appeared in the garden. Hmm. It's possible the return of the time machine tore holes in the time continuum. To the garden, fellers. He gad's got some acrobatics in him for an old dude. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Glad he agreed with doo doo. <laughs> that's something. That's something I can get behind. Instead, how about you stand guard and keep that thing from escaping and eating everyone? Oh, no. oh, I see. Well, if you'd rather not, I guess I can't force you to do it or anything. Who knows what the future holds, though? Could be you might face even worse things. Okay, so tell me, are your jumps coming along as well as Mario's? Cause he's the best. Yeah, listen, no offense, but next to Mario, that just seems underwhelming. Know what I mean? Show him what I mean, Mario! Yeah. Seriously, Luigi, try jumping like Mario. You need more intensity or something. Huh. Wow, that was super! That was a great jump, worthy of Mario himself. You really are, brothers. Hey, you better hustle along to the garden. Just to show us that Luigi uses the B button for his commands while Mario uses A, and excuse me, but the Mario and Luigi universe really likes just crapping all over Luigi's bed. <laughs> Normally, he's the jump master. He high jumps so much better than Mario, and yet, in this universe, he has to try his hardest just to match Mario when he's not even trying. That's how you know the universe is out to get you. Get used to it. It's going to be a running theme. As I suspected, it's a time hole! Yes, sirree. This time hole is a doorway to the past. No doubt about it. It appeared because of that time machine. Careful there, young feller. If I'm right, that time hole leads back in time. Yep, to a younger Mushroom Kingdom. Question is, to where in the Mushroom Kingdom? The other question is, if a feller were to jump in, could he even make it back? Hmm? Use this time hole to rescue the princess. Hmm, now there's an idea. I'd bet dollars to donuts that's our best chance at saving her. Master Mario! Man, when you said the time machine tore holes in the space-time continuum, you were not kidding. Like, he would have to be moving at such a ludicrously slow speed for us to have gotten here before him and done that battle before all this. Like, I don't know. I know the Mushroom Kingdom has screen wrapping, but that's some pretty intense screen wrapping. Maybe he went around the entire world because the Junior Shrewd waited him that hard. I don't know. Oh, right. I guess Luigi's in danger or something, too. <laughs> And what were those lights? And what is that on hole? I demand answer, sir. Unfortunately for you, you asked a silent protagonist. Master Mario! Not long, and we're already time travelers. Watch the leather, Professor! No need for the shoving! Oh, uh, you must be Mario. According to the professor, there should be a Luigi here as well, but I don't know. Um, unrelated, but the soil here feels really soft. You should try putting your feet on it. 
Oh my, are you Luigi? I... Sorry about that. I am pleased to meet you. I am known as Stuffwell. Professor Egad invented me. I am what is called... A suitcase. The professor sent me back in time to be your assistant. Yes, assistant is accurate. I'm more than just some place to store your belongings. I have many complex sensors and various memory apparatus for data retention and... Uh, well, suffice to say, I am very technologic by contraption standards. I'll be a big help. Why don't we get started by having you go ahead and open me up? Ah uh, yes, the words everyone wants to hear on a first date. Well, he's basically our pause menu, complete with a rather flashy looking animation and a lovely looking interior. Yes, please note that I can be loaded with all manner of doodads and widgets. Also what you want to hear on a first date. <laughs> Suffice to say, I can certainly carry all your items. Start with 12 mushrooms, part of why I wasn't really s or start with 10 mushrooms, I just got two more. Part of why I wasn't too concerned with going around getting all those item blocks. I am also designed to carry a veritable wealth of equipment. And to confirm that you're in tip-top shape, you can check your stats here as well. If I could have your attention on the top screen... This is how much time's passed since you started in your adventure, all full of danger and whatnot. This right here is the number of coins you're carrying. And finally, direct your gaze here to sneak a peek at your streamlined statistics. Well, that wraps up my self-introduction. Uh, self-introductional, is that even a word? It probably is, I probably shouldn't question this stuff. Press B to initiate my closing minification sec- Never mind trusting if these are actually words. Back to adventure! Well, like it or not, we are now adventuring through time itself. I'm gonna save to see that this place is named Near Holly Jolly Village, my favorite name for a grassy meadow. Yeah, um, not very inspired. Well, that's what I meant about the getting those fun little pictures. Save it every save album you see, because you never know when you're gonna get another one of those portraits. Always a good picture taking moment on our quests and whatnot. Not, if it's not inconvenient, I'd like to proceed with some basic instructionals. As you know, the primary action of our mobile creatures is to jump if you follow. If your timing is serviceable, the, the, the pair of you should be able to jump up these ledges. First, Mario jumps with A. Then Luigi follows suit by pressing B. Rudimental. He is using D-pad, and then yes, we know, so we have to jump together as a pair because there is a pair of us. It's quite simple logic. And go up here, get two mushrooms. There can be multiple items in a question mark block. Definitely hit all the ones that you see. Look out for different ones. I don't really need to be saying this, actually. Uh, can be multiple coins in a block, as is the case normally. Get a one-up mushroom that can revive a fallen party member in battle. And I don't mean to be super down on things. These tutorials do clear up momentarily, so the light at the end of the tunnel is in sight. It's just, for right now, they're pretty liberally applied. And yes, gaps in my path, just in case you were not aware of how gravity functions. Gaps in the light can sometimes be cleared by moving with the D-pad. Yes, build up your speed and then leap by pressing A and B at the same time. Uh, Egad, great invention. You just had one horrible design flaw. You gave him a mouth. <laughs> Get across this, and then... Gee, I wonder if I hit the M blocks with Mario and the L blocks with Luigi. Yes. Yeah, sure. It's a good thing that we're not Wario going back in time, otherwise we'd be really screwed and unable to progress. Good thing that this land was meant to be visited by us from the moment of its creation. People building it wouldn't know that it would become so important 20 years in the future. It appears a path allowing us to proceed has opened up! I suggest utilizing A and B to perform well-timed jumps and move forward. Holly Jolly Village is just up ahead, so I guess the name was at least accurate, if not a little uncreative. Uh, sorry, Luigi, you always seem to be around whenever I'm criticizing the creativity of names. I will promise not to annoy you with that too much. Uh, hey, buddy, want a free suitcase? Uh, the village. 
Oh. The village, dank, purple mushrooms. Look at Luigi's legs, they're like jello. <laughs> Certainly no going back now, and this song is really nice. It's one of my favorite renditions of the regular of, uh, the regular Super Mario Brothers theme. Uh, yes, 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 okay, dangers ahead, prudent to be battle ready, and some other big words that sound really funny to say in a heroic tone, yes. Well, he is telling us about a new mechanic. If we attack an enemy in the field, we do get a first strike on them, so jumping on their head? Here we are. Excellent work, Mario. Jump onto your enemy to engage it in battle, and you'll get the upper hand by damaging it at the get-go. I highly recommend noting this helpable hint. Conversely, enemies can surprise attack you by touching you in the back, so make sure that they don't do that. Don't get too crazy with um, trying to avoid battles, otherwise that can really bite you in the butt. Of course, we can jump on our enemies like that. Luigi! You'll perform attacks like Mario does. The only difference is that Luigi uses B for his action commands. Remember to use B when jumping on bad guys who hate you! Very descriptive of you. I like how Luigi's like doing the crab there when it's not his turn, like he's cautiously approaching. Uh, Luigi uses commands with the B button, does his action commands as well. And what now? Analysis complete on the enemy's attacks. Shall I tell you the results? What have the results confirmed, Crytel? Uh, okay, observe the stance of the foe fo right before attacks. The enemy lifts its left foot. It's aiming for Luigi. Dodge with B. Yeah, there we go. You screwed up my counterattack, however. If only you were a little bit sooner in telling us those results. Uh, all enemies have tells to tell you when, um, who they're going to be attacking, so you want to learn that as well. When avoiding enemies, the timing of Mario and Luigi's jumps tend to, slightly, uh, tend to be slightly differentiable. Pay close attention to the timing of the jumps. They're also standing in slightly different positions, so it might take an enemy a little bit longer to travel over to the bro that they're attacking. Keep all that in mind when doing that, and you should be pretty good. And Luigi does not get his first level up. He's gonna be lagging behind by six experience for a long time. Got a few other enemies we can attack. I don't see any reason not to get a little bit of WHAT?! Well, um, I guess I got to show the status ailment of Trip. Um, an enemy can attack you if they have higher speed first in battle, and um, if you're tripped, you are unable to dodge until you get hit once. So, um, I guess we go over that now. Um, not very ideal, but sure. Counterattack was able to beat that enemy there. And sure, Luigi, jump on this Shrewblood as well. I want you to get a level up. This background is so pretty. It's another thing is just the pixel art is so beautiful. The backgrounds here. I think that this actually has some of the prettiest backgrounds in the whole series, and I never hear anyone talk about it. Uh, Luigi gets his level up at long last. Now, Luigi is a little bit different. He's more focused on HP, defense, and stash. He is more tanky because he's taken more of a beating his entire existence, of course. Now, I have a bit of a story about the screen. I have claimed multiple times in my life that my child self was probably the worst Mario and Luigi player ever. And, well, also I totally botched that again. Good. It's a little bit hard to do when talking, though, in my defense. Now, if you liked hearing about how awful my child self was at Mario and Luigi, I got good news for you. My tales of woe continue into partners in time. I learned very little from Superstar Saga. On that screen, where you can select what stat you want to level up, I played through all of Superstar Saga and all of Partners in Time without knowing you could select the stat that you want. That's right. I played through not one, but two games upping HP on every level up. As you can imagine, I am not going to be doing that here. Because, well, it's kind of bad and stuff. That's what I'm going with. So, I had quite a hard time with this one growing up. And there were some boss fights that took me actual hours to beat. Because I had so much health, the enemies weren't ever killing me. And I wasn't ever killing the enemies because I was doing, like, no damage. Also, that's pretty funny. Are you operational, Luigi? Do you need service? Because I have an oil can right here. Uh, that won't be necessary. Yes, taking some damage. What fortunate timing! Allow me to explain how to use items. 
I feel about Stuffwell the same way that I feel about a lot of other assistant characters in games. I feel like his tutorials are more a problem with the game, and a lot of people hate the messenger who has to deliver those tutorials, but Stuffwell the character himself, he's really fun. I think he's charming, like I've said, and I just... I do like him, I just don't like the tutorials that he gives, so I think it's more an issue with the game than the character. I just happen to have two mushrooms that the professor gave me. Let's use these in the explanation. Move the magnification dingus here and press magnification dingus. I gotta use that one. Uh, I'm pretty happy to have a net gain here, getting one mushroom profit out of Luigi getting hurt. Quite a nice trade-off. Make sure you've selected the fr our friend Luigi there and then press A. Yes, Wonderferous, Wonderferous, Wonderferous. That should be, that should put a pepper on his pizza. Alrighty then, let's return to the bottom screen. If not too much trouble, press B for me. Second verse, same as the first, but that I mean press B again, and then, yeah, we can hit B again, yeah, sure. Um, if you wanna close the menu completely at any time, you can press start to just insta-close it. I wish all games had shortcuts like that to just instantly close the pause menu. And back to adventure once more. Now, I do want to fight all of the Shrewblitz in this area. It will be a little bit time consuming, but I'm doing this because these enemies will not respawn for a long time. This is our only opportunity to train for a little while, and I do want to get in a little bit of training while I still can. I'm gonna fight you. And at least we get to see the pretty battle backgrounds again while doing it. Of course, when your stats are low, those early game level ups mean a lot, unless you're like me and can't play the roulette for beans, but we're not going into that now, are we? <laughs> Mario gets a level up. I think I'm gonna go, uh, let's go. Ooh, no, speed's not really that good. Oh, stash is looking nice. Let's go for that. <laughs> it was between two fours. <laughs> I'd like to get not a one on one of these level ups. Luigi, you're my only hope. Please don't let me down. <laughs> Mario can kill these things with just a first strike and a counter attack now, getting these done in record time. It really shows just how different these battles are from traditional RPGs. Let's go. Just barely enough enemies in the immediate area for Luigi to get his third level. HP's looking okay, power's looking fine, defense not so much, ooh yeah. If you just leveled up a stat, it's probably not gonna have very good numbers on it. Let's go for stash. Yeah! Got a plus four! I think the highest that could possibly be is a plus six though, but that's only if you haven't upped the stat in a very long time, so I will very happily take that. But with that, we've arrived in the village. Oh no! But despite our fun adventure getting up here, we were too late to save the village. Our first journey into the past ends in sadness. And next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we explore this village to try to find out just what happened here. See you guys then.